Child Psychology Cross-Cultural Studies, Uganda and Baltimore. Ainsworth studied mother-like interactions in Uganda as well, but carried out observations and interviews rather than using the strange situation test. She gathered information about the babies and also about the mother's sensitivity. The Ugandan mothers tended to have securely attached babies who did not cry much and used their mothers as a secure base from which to explore, and the Ugandan mothers were sensitive to their babies' needs. Around 70% of the U.S. mothers were sensitive mothers and had securely attached children as well, so there are similarities between the two cultures. The Ugandan mothers also had some type A insecurely attached children, as did the U.S. mothers. The U.S. study in Baltimore used the strange situation test, but also interviews and observations at the child's home to obtain information about sensitive mothering. In the main, it was reported that the two studies gave similar data, so the attachment types were thought to be universal. Other cross-cultural studies looking at attachment types. Grossman et al. 1985 in Germany used the strange situation test and found more avoidant attachment types than in the U.S. study. Sagi et al. in 1985 in Israel found more ambivalent types than in the U.S. study. Miyaki et al. 1985 in Japan also found more ambivalent types than in the U.S. study. Jin Mi Kyung, 2005, compared 113 U.S. families with 87 Korean families and used the strange situation test too. There were a greater number of securely attached infants than of any other type, which reinforces the idea that attachment types are found in similar proportion in all countries. However, there were some differences. For example, the Korean children stayed less close to their mothers than the U.S. sample and explored more. Korean mothers were also more likely to get down on the floor and play with their infants straight away. Evaluation Perhaps the higher proportion of avoidant children in Germany was caused by a lack of responsiveness on the part of the mothers, as Ainsworth might have said. However, perhaps it was because German mothers value and encourage independence more. From the strange situation findings, it is hard to draw the cause and effect conclusions. In Japan and Israel, there might be fewer interactions with strangers, and this might account for the different reactions. Perhaps the strange situation is testing cultural differences in child-rearing style rather than differences in responsive mothering. However, the same types emerged and the type most commonly found was a securely attachment child. There seem to be universal types, as was first thought, even though there are some differences in proportions being because of cultural differences. Strengths. The same procedure was used in the different countries, which should give reliable findings. There were three types observed in the different studies, and this shows consistency. The main attachment type is nearly all, in nearly all studies is securely attached, which gives reliability to the method, as it, would, as it is what would be expected given other research about sensitive mothering leading to a secure attachment. Weaknesses. The task itself might, may have led to findings of cross-cultural differences rather than the sensitivity of the mothering. Cultures differ in many aspects, such as family structures, parenting styles, ex expectations, and how children are viewed. The strange situation test does not take into account these differences.